Well, I can tell you one thing. This is one weird way to start a day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. It is gorgeous. The sun is beaming down. We are tiptoeing around the splash zone. And the sunshine is knocking at my door. Well, in one direction at least, but the other, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. But good morning, Mr. Kevin. He's on the prowl. He knows it's feeding time when I get around. How are you doing on this fine day? Look at him go. Dare I say the cutest chameleon I've ever seen. But he knows I'm upstairs having my breakfast, so he wants his. So coming up on today's menu, we have extra large locusts. And for dessert, a spectacular Dubaian cockroach. Mmm. Oh, he's going for it. No, uh, uh, no, wait, wait. Just... Wait. Crikey Joe, Kevin, just give me a second to get your meal ready. I've got to put his food inside this calcium powder and feed it to him, but he's just staring at me. <laughs> Kevin, calm down, dear. You'll get your breakfast. We give it a shaky shake shake. We chuck him inside. And the hunt begins. Here we see a hey, Kevin going in for the kill on the locust. He shoots, he scores, and it was indeed a headshot. Now that the child is taken care of, I can actually feed myself. We're having some chocolate crave this morning. And a lovely cup of tea. Beautiful. Now, I'm starting today a little bit late. It's actually 11.29 in the morning. But bizarrely, I was woken up at 8 o'clock this morning from a voice note off my dad. And I'm going to play it to you now for you to just understand what on earth goes on in the life of Tom. Agent Syndicate. Today we have a mission. Our mission is to go collect the rubbish from the river. Should you choose to accept this, come and join me. This message will self destruct So I didn't actually hear the last bit of my dad saying it will self destruct in 30 seconds. And then within two, it went boom. But as you heard it, yeah, I got, I got a voice note from my dad this morning saying, let's go and clean up some rubbish because my dad's a man on a mission. And you know how he just like turns up here all the time with his dog? Well, he does actually go to other places in the area, like particularly like on like really nice scenic routes and walks. But on this one particular place that he goes to, he takes his dog for a walk and there's just been so much rubbish there. My dad put it on his Instagram and then some kind soul from wherever came, cleaned it up, but had no capability to get the bags of rubbish out of there. So I have been roped in with the rugged beast from the east to go and collect the rubbish that's left behind. And it's really weird because yesterday, as I was driving down to, where was it, Aldi to go and look for Funyuns, which I found, but they're frauds, I actually bumped into a mate of mine in the middle of nowhere. And I was like, what are you doing here? And then I realized he had a litter picker, a bin bag, and he was like going around like Tameside cleaning up the area. And I said to him like, dude, get in touch with me. We'll go out and do it. But how bizarre is that, that I saw him yesterday and now my dad wants me to go and bag some trash with him, so let's do this. I'm gonna need some bin bags and don't even get me started about how much stuff is in here. It all has a purpose, like mm, Fabulosa all-in-one disinfectant spray. Limited edition Febreze. And for the finale, our sponsor, Raid Not So Shadowed Legends. Kills flying insects in seconds. For... Listen, I at least I've got everything for the job, right? Ah, oh, look at that. I have got 20 extra strong refuse sacks. Is that what you call it? Is it, is it ref, refuse? Or is it refuse? <laughs> I refuse your sack! Be gone! Hang on a minute. I really, really want to know the answer to this. Refuse. Refuse. It's refuse. Thank you, YouTube channel English with Collins Dictionary. You save the day. However, something's got me thinking this woman actually needs saving. Oh. Wait. Refuse. Wait, it can be both? Colin, you're killing me. This is just like the most bizarre day I've had to start the day on this Life of Tom channel, which by the way, I don't even think I introduced properly. My name's Tom. I film every single weekday of my life and I share it for your faces at 7 p.m. the next day. It's like the Truman Show, but it's actually real and I share all the shenanigans that happen in my life. So if you're new around here and you haven't done so, do me a favor, click that subscribe button and ding dong the bell next to it. It gives you all the notifications of when I post my new video, uh, which should be at seven o'clock tomorrow. We hope. Kind of got a tendency of being late. But speaking of which, I'm going to need my Wellington boots. Ah, there you are, you bastards. I'm going to need my sacks. <laughs> Nailed it. And some gloves. Thanking you, thanking you. And you know what? After I sift through this garage, I can't believe I've got one. It's a bloody litter picker. I am properly prepared for the job. And you guys told me this garage was messy. 
it serves its purpose. Uh, to be fair, we really do need to clean that. But I properly cannot believe I've actually got this and I'm going to go and pick later with it. And I can tell you right now, Lydia probably said that that was a pointless purchase, but look at that. We're packed up and we're ready to rock. Who would have thought this Land Rover Defender would have had all these purposes? From parcel deliveries, from Syndicate Original, to being a dustbin wagon. The beast from the east really does it all. But I do need to ask some of you guys out here for something. I'm wanting to kit out the Defender with like a winch, some new suspension that looks absolutely sick and serves a purpose, and a massive light bar running along the top of it. And I cannot seem to find the garage to do it with. And I know this is where people will start suggesting like, oh, go to Twisted Automotive, or go to like Khan, all these like big name companies, but they do mainly, mainly like fancy looking defenders and, you know, specking them out for speed. I'm after like making it like this ultimate utility vehicle. And I could really do with some help of being pointed in the right direction as to how to do it and where to go. If anyone's got any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll be reading them because I really want to trick this thing out and make it look sick and more so to serve a purpose. But I've just realized I've left the plant outside. Hold on, dear. Help is on the way. Where are <laughs> when I get back from the little picking. All right, let's go and get Kenjamin. Are you ready to be proud of me? Are you ready to be proud of me? <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've got, Dad. There's no way you've got one. <laughs> There's no way you've got one. No, I've done you one better, Dad. Dad, guess what? Ah, one up. No! <laughs> I can't one. believe it. Hey, at least you've raised me right. At least you've raised me right. As if we both got one. Wait, can I can I one up you? <laughs> oh, you idiot! You idiot! You forgot your gloves. Oh, you're an idiot. There's a win, ladies and gentlemen. We've just one up the one and only Ken Cassell. <laughs> this is where we'd usually park up, but Dad said bring the defender and we'll go down in style. So this is what we're doing. Luckily, I just got some new fresh tires on this thing. So Brilliant. we shouldn't get a puncture, he says, but this is why we brought it. I don't know if we can get all the way down yes, though, can, can we? Get really? To the gate, mate. Yeah, get to the, the gate. gate. Hell yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this is why we brought it. This is why we brought it. <laughs> Beautiful. Go on, give us the famous line, Dad. Ali! <laughs> We're pulling it from there, aren't we? So if I put it, it there, put it there and then fine. just where you are now. Reverse it in. Yeah. And there you go. <laughs> Mint, eh? Truly is just oh. oh, by the way, this is John. This is John, my dad's friend. Uh, popping by saying hello, but he's now been dragged along on uh, a Tom and Ken adventure. Okay. Oh, great. I'll give myself a well good drop-off point straight into Nettles. Oh, and hello. I didn't know you'd actually be coming with us. Are you saying hello? Are you saying hello, yeah, buddy? You okay, mate? You okay? As I'm getting dressed into our attire, can I just give you bonus points? Repping, that not the, repping. That was, the, that was the idea. Can't believe it. I ain't got a spare one. And I am throwing this out here right now. Oh, wow. We've taken two steps in and there is shite everywhere. I'm gonna, wait, why does it look like I'm, that is weird lighting with a camera. It looks like I'm wearing like a, looks like I'm wearing purple. Have I broke my camera or something? This is definitely a black jacket. That's bizarre, but I'm saying this right now. Alice, I should have been wearing the windbreaker, but I couldn't find it when I walked out of the house. But I'm saying this right now, I would love for us to make a waterproof windbreaker edition, like so a waterproof coat for Syndicate Original. Let me know in the comments down below if we should do that. But okay, okay, I came prepared. I've got the GoPro on, so we're gonna be switching to that. You know, my dad's walked down this path and somehow just managed to miss so much rubbish along the way. Look at this, is he bloody blind? Do I need to give him a set of glasses? There's a bastard boost here. Give it me. Yeah, well, I've got a stick as well, there we go. Get out, mate. I'm gonna have a bin bag full already by the time I see my dad. Hey, what? We picked the rubbish up on the way back. We picked the rubbish on the way. Oh, no, am I an idiot? You way. walk, you work backwards. Yeah. We're coming back this way. You are okay. So, listen, I've been slagging you off, saying you've missed so bag. much. Hide your bag. We're coming back. Right. This we have a fresh start. is this just? Are you sure this is not just yeah, me looking like I'm littering no, on camera no, no, now? No, nobody will be there. You are actually smart. I work from the back Correct. to the front. Oh, I'm an idiot. So, I'm, I apologise. We'll walk and chill. I apologise. Who's in charge, Syndicate? You are. Sorry, Papa Kemp. Come on. You are right. This is why I'm the son and he's the father, because I am a stupid sausage. Didn't I just get schooled there, John? You did. Damn it. There's always a method to my dad's madness. What an idiot. Wow! Uh, did you, you, you just said ducks. Check it out. Nearly died. 
Did you just push me? Nope. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Guys, I've never been shouted at so many times in my comment section they're by ducks. people stop, stop saying they're like, ducks. they're not ducks, Tom, they're geese. That right there is a duck. And that is a gang of geese. Wait, can we take that with us? Could we get that in the back of the Defender? Should we take that out? We should if we could get it out, but well, you make a messy defence. Yeah, it's got years of mud on it. We'll not stop draining out of the tube ins and what have you. I say we yeah, get it we could, out. We could check it out now, let it drain and take it back on another day. Go I was going to say, I'm sure if we take it out now and we come back, it'll just be back in. Yeah. But I reckon we should get that out. <laughs> 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 you know what? I'm saying this again. Having a moment. Oh, he's doing one of those things. He's not even had a drink. He's not even had a drink. He's having a moment. Thank you so much for tuning into these vlogs. Just being able to spend time with my family and stuff like that is just the best thing ever. Do you know what I mean? Like my, the, the fact that now my family know to be like, oh, we'll give Tom a ring and he's probably up for a, a fun adventure or doing something stupidly random. I love it. It's all because of you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Nothing like a stroll in the forest with the sunlight beaming down on us. B E A beautiful. God damn that that is actually a lot of geese. I'm really regretting wearing my thick waterproof coat. But I came prepared for the job. My dad said wear all black. And I am doing. But I'm boiling. No, there's not. There is, needles. I've not seen any. Oh, so we're really getting closer I've to the shithole. Why would you leave it here? No. Yeah. Alright, you're gonna have to blur that, but that is absolutely disgusting. People walk with like their kids and their dogs along here. What a bunch of absolute scruffs. Hey John, where well, you've got the bad people leaving that behind. Some people have actually come down here, cleaned a load of it up and put it into bags. So good on them for doing that, but obviously it's a bit of a hike to get back, so that's why we brought the defender. How was it less than a week ago we were in Ibiza partying it up? And now I'm litter pickering. <laughs> Diversity. That's what it's all about. Diversity. And wow, I can't believe I'm catching this on camera, but that spider's eating good. Look at all the flies in that web. Wow. So dad's shouting at the dog because there's a barrel of oil that's like leaked over there into all the ground and it's like contaminated and the dog's just running it. But as I was saying, this is like one of the most random days of my life. Let's get the litter picker. Go on. And uh, oh let's get picking up all the. Oh, nice! A little bit of a on, cat man. bag. Oh. Love that. But, but, uh, that was sarcasm, by the way. <laughs> You're not even doing anything. Oh, I've sent John to get. I've brought John. Wow! Can't believe it. <laughs> Luckily, I've got the wellies to get in, into the the thick of it and get the rubbish away. Wait, what? I found a copy of Harry Potter. What does it say? Forest, lake, and sea creatures. How bizarre! <laughs> We're expecting to find that. Hey up, I actually think this is someone's school bag that's been ransacked. Fun, fuel for fun, active tame side. Well, it's actively going in the trash. I'm not gonna lie, this is why I actually brought these gloves because I can just grab things so much easier and throw it in faster. There's, there's like some plastic on that tree down there, but I think I might leave that to last because I'm gonna end up falling. Are you taking that straight away? Well, I'll take it as far as I can. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. You know what? This place is actually looking already a lot cleaner. I'm actually struggling to see any rubbish. Right up. We've got a tent peg there. Thanking you. That will go inside the trash bag. Hey, you got another tent peg. Someone was having a lovely camping trip, I guess. But other than that, I can't really, can't really seem to see any other rubbish. Dang it, I really, really want to try and get that plastic off that tree. But if I do dare say, that looks pretty deep. Right. Let's just assess what the actual situation is with this mud. Am I going to sink straight into it? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no, we're okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Pringle can. Let's get that on the side. Thank you. Oh, dear. These Wellingtons better not leak like they did yesterday. Oh, these gloves aren't waterproof. Oh, these gloves aren't waterproof. Oh, my God. I regret everything. Okay, what I'm thinking is do we try and walk through there to get onto the tree? I think so, let's, let's give it a go. Am I gonna sink, am I gonna sink, am I gonna sink, am I gonna sink, I'm okay. Oh, that's all bin bags. This is all metal underneath me and I can feel water getting in the back of my wellies, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, this does not feel safe. The ground feels like it's about to give way. Oh my gosh. Wow, that looked like ground, but it's not. Okay, oh my God, fucking hell, I nearly went. 
Shit, get me on this tree. I'm on. Yes. Wow. We did it. Mission accomplished. And man, I do not want to see the size of that spider from that uh, that web. Wow. Can we get this? Oh god. Oh, it's falling apart. Whatever it is. Oh, that's disgusting. How big is it? Oh, I can't take that. I need my other glove. Why did I not bring my other glove? Right, we'll do another trip. Do you know what I've always just decided after going all the way over there that maybe I should take off my backpack with my laptop in it? You know what I mean? No, I'm actually going to try and attempt this shot. I've got a gorilla mount. I'm going to put my phone on it like this. Are you ready? Do not fall, do not fall, do not fall. And you guys are going to be able to watch the adventure of me getting across. Let's hope no one walks past and grabs my bag. Otherwise, I think Ken will beat them up on the way back. And time for take two. And you'll see why I was saying this is so sketchy. Because none of this is safe to walk on. Look at that. Tom back in his natural habitat. Oh, the camera's over there. Climbing a tree. All right, with the power of two gloves this time. Wow. Oh, that is nasty. Oh my God, that is nasty. Oh, that's so nasty. I'm just hoping it, if it can float, I can drag it along in the water. Come on. Oh yeah, oh, when it works, yes. We're not going to be able to get this out, man. It's so heavy. It's so, so heavy. Oh, water's gone down the back of my welly. Oh no. But look what I've pulled out the river. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. That was heavy. Okay, I think I'm going back to see if there's any more. Who's ringing me? Lydia, I cannot take a phone call right now. Yes. Yes. Yes, we've got another bag out. Oh, it's full of shit. Great success. I've literally just spotted there's a piece of it still stuck over there. Come on. Come on. Whoa, whoa bloody hell. Wow. Wow, I thought I was going in then. But because I am one stubborn bastard, I'm going back in for that little piece I've left behind. Smelly gloves back on. Let's go. This is a true Tommy in the wild. <laughs> there's all these little bin bag bits here, but just quite hard to get them all. Right, this is what I came for. Can we, get, yeah, grab some, oh, there you go. Get out. Let's grab all that. Sorry if I'm ruining like a beaver's dam or something like that, but I'm sure he doesn't appreciate chewing on plastic. Whoa, oh, oh. Is that like a, is that like a bonnet off a car or something? I wonder if I could get that. Oh no, this is a bad decision. If that gives way now, I'm going in. If that gives way now, I'm going in. Yes, safe place to start. Oh, I'm, I'm pushing it. Look at the waterline of my wellies. I just want to try and see if I can grab that. That is actually the front of a car. Right, where can I stand here? Oh, 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 the water's going in my wellies. The water is past the welly line. Oh, I'm sinking. I am sinking. Oh, I'm sinking. Oh my God, I've got it. It's moving. Uh, no way. No freaking way. I, found the, I think I found the front of a Ford. What the fuck? Man, this is bizarre. I've actually found a car. Ken's never gonna believe this. I am in disbelief. I went for, oh, I can't believe it. There's a plastic bag stuck on the edge of that tree. I'm gonna have to go and get it. Mate, I've got like, it becomes like an addictive game, this. Can you catch it all? Probably not, but can you catch the front of, I think it is a, off a Ford Transit van, you know? I, what the heck? You know what, in case Ken and John come back, I'm gonna hide it there to the side, and then when they come down and see what I've pulled out, I'll uh, pull out my surprise package of that bad boy. But yeah, safe to say, I am stanky. Gloves are soaked, wellies are, you know what, wellies, they're holding up. I'm a little bit wet around the edges, but <sighs> what a day. You know what, I've actually got a 200 IQ idea of how we could get this trash, which is really heavy, down the river and to the defender it may involve doing it tomorrow but when i tell you it would be fun i mean it would be fun if you want to see me do that <laughs> and aquatic tom be out and about leave a like creating <laughs> the life of tom man what's gonna to happen tomorrow you know what i'm not sure if ken's gonna be proud of proud of me or pissed off with me because i feel like i've pulled more stuff out of the river where people wouldn't have noticed it and placed it here so now this is our problem because we pulled it out so i've got to get that from here all the way over there and let me tell you 
it is a long, long way. No way. <laughs> Ken's back. I'm going to get this other GoPro. Now, I know you said we were going collecting trash. We're not cleaning the river. I, no, I know we're not, because then it makes more hard work. Close your eyes and guess what I'm going to give you. Take one guess. A trolley. No, keep your eyes closed. How about a transit van? <laughs> Mate, it's only half a one. But it's still part of a transit Paul van. Might want it. He's got a transit. Oh, well, not, Mate, I just thought it was a piece of plastic and then I saw the Ford logo. Mate, we don't need it. I know we don't. I told you, I didn't know whether he was going to be disappointed in me or proud of me, but basically I've created myself more work. But I'm going to take care of it, all right? We're not leaving it here. I'm going to come and collect it. I'm definitely taking that with me. He told me to leave it behind. <laughs> But I don't think so. <laughs> the transit's coming with me. Tell me you're not impressed with the front of a transit. I'm impressed. Go on then, what's the best thing you two found today? Uh, you. Uh, syringe. Syringe? Yeah, yeah. Beat a Ford Transit bonnet? No. Exactly. Not saying it's a competition, boys, but <laughs> I think I've won. I'll tell you something, boys. Whilst I was messing around with a transit, you've tidied this up nicely. I don't know if you've got a clipper, Ryan, of when I was swinging here on the actual rope swing. Look at these scruffs leaving all this trash. Ugh. And then to now look at this. Dad and John have cleaned it up. Give or take a few pieces. Look at that. Doing an absolutely cracking job, lads. Well done. And the wild wanderers return from their roam. Wow. Well done, John. I'm going to take my glove off. Give you a clean fish bump. Let's bag that over there. And that is our bountiful haul. Bags full. Flipping heck, Dad. Fish bump. Don't leave me hanging, lad. What a legend. Crew. That is. That's something else, that. Note to self, when you get a voice note off Dad, <laughs> always be prepared for everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a day. So we're saying you don't think it's going to fit in? I'm not saying it won't, but it's just if we in it, we'll be full of shit. Mm, yeah, we can find it. a way. Yeah, it turns, turns out we definitely can't. So we've thrown the bags in. We're going to get Ken in, John in, and then we're going to leave that there, and I'm going to come and collect it tomorrow. So I'm sure someone's going to come down here and be like, why is there a front of a transit van here? Don't worry, I'll be back. Wow. Our job here is done, but a new journey has just started. So roll on tomorrow. All right, well, that was uh, the labor for the day. Now it's time to get some lunch. Are you ready again, Dad? <laughs> and we're straight into Butty Shop, right, ladies? Right, ladies. And then free ham sandwich. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> big shooter, it's a big shooter. Hang on. Aim oh, it. Shoot it. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. You've oh. squirted everywhere. What are you doing? Oh, sh oh you felt I'm in splash zone. Are you sure this is hand sanitizer, not your personal supply? Uh, what? I don't want to know what it says. I mean, I had to get some hand sanitizer on because my hands were filthy. But it goes without saying, G Cost Bakery. Recommend it. It's an experience. It's an experience, it's an experience to say the least. What is John doing? He's just. <laughs> He's just. Hairing at a wall. John. From this angle, you just like look like a crazy person staring at a wall. Mate, I'm not gonna lie, that that was giving me a right chuckle. Don't Mate, I've got to. Oh, you were looking at this, dude. From there, you just look like you just look like you're staring at a wall. Like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> right, I got the snacks. Come on. Yeah, so Dad, how he how's he ditched us? How has he actually ditched us with all this shit in the back? Whatever. Whatever. Payback's a bitch, Ken. You leave me at the butter shop. You can have all these bags of trash. And another one, and another, and another. And a little bit more from John. And that's what we call a job well done. Oh, hi, Dad. Oh, you, right, you, you, know, because, you know, because you left us at the butty shop, I thought I'd leave you with a gift. Bye now. Come on now. Till next time, Ken. Move Until I get another move. voice note from you. Move this heap of rubbish off out of my drive. <laughs> Oh, and take this with you when you're going. Can you can you possibly find a father like this anywhere else? I don't think oh, so. What what a morning this has just turned out to be. I'm actually at home now. Um, shock! <laughs> Spoiler alert, you never would have recognised this as my house, but I managed to get like a pie and a sausage roll from the butty shop, and what a day, man. Like, I really was not expecting that. I completely stink and need to have a shower, but I tell you what, I'm sat a bit restless right now. 
and I think I've got a plan. Sure, if I go into my garage and in the back corner over here, if I take a look inside, I have indeed got myself a hacksaw. It's reminded me that I need to get an electric hacksaw. It's, that's a, a product that I've wanted for the longest time, so I might go to B&Q and get it today, but I'm tempted to go down and chop up the front of that transit van because you know where the other stuff that I pulled out the river, that's not really in anyone's way. Like, yeah, sure, some walkers will walk past it and see it, and I'm gonna take care of that. But where that transit van is, I just, like, the front of it is, I feel like too many people are gonna walk past that, and it's just gonna, like, ruin the day. You know, like, if someone walks past that, and they'll be like, oh, look what someone's left here. Whereas, if I just go down now with the Defender, chop it into two, throw it in the back, and then <laughs> bin it outside my dad's house, we'll be able to put some smiles on people's faces. So we're gonna do that. Also, side note of just, I, I know I keep asking this, but do you guys like the behind the scenes of like the, just the drama that goes on with the vlogs and stuff? Basically, Orion said that the vlog yesterday, you know, the one that he was in, he said he's managed to edit it and everything like that, but then all of a sudden his laptop's died and he's rushed off to um, like an Apple store to try and find out what's going on with it. Because if that laptop dies, you know, I like these vlogs are late sometimes, and sometimes it's my fault, and sometimes it's his fault. Oh, we, we, we are going to have a serious problem on our hands, so hopefully uh, he can get that taken care of and get back in time. Otherwise, I'm going to be posting him his gift back, because it'll be well-deserved. No, not that it is, it's his fault, but it sure as shit weren't mine, so we've got to find someone to blame. But I'm also finally filling up the washing machine, getting it loaded, and you know what? The amount of people who've told me this, I think it's about time I address it. For years, this is what I've used in my washing machine, right? And people have said to me, Tom, you're doing it wrong. Don't take one of these, which, oh, okay. Well, that's a Siamese twin version. Don't take one of these and put it into there and then close the lid. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to just chuck it inside. But when you read the bag, it says, place capsule into dispenser drawer and close. So I don't know, like each to their own, there might be two ways of doing it. But like, listen, I'm literally following the... <laughs> I was going to say the recipe. Do you remember that time on YouTube where everyone was eating Tide Pods or something? Like, washing up pods, the absolute weirdos. Like I said, I'm following the process and, um, you know, it's part and parcel of it. So, to everyone who keeps having goes at me, I think it's like the mums in the comments. Piss off, Tracy. Sorry if there's a person called Tracy watching this who just got really offended. My bad. But the washing machine's on. Look at that. You know, you know I actually lived here for about five, six years until I realised that it projects the time on the floor. Madness. But I am gonna be efficient Tom and I'm gonna send Orion all the footage that we have so far of the day. So let's collect it all together, get it sent, and with my super fast internet, all 162 clips that I've uh, filmed so far today will be sent over in nine minutes. We're staying on top of things. But for some even more behind the scenes, you know I'm always sharing like the ups of the YouTube channel? Like just in absolute awe that like people are subscribing, of which I know it sounds like a boring record, but if you're not subscribed, click the button. But you know, like I always tell you guys like, wow, the video's performing so well, like it's so incredible. Like the, it's been absolutely booming, I can't believe it. Well, yesterday, the vlog I uploaded is the worst performing video I've uploaded in the last three weeks. I honestly thought people would really enjoy it. And you know what? It's one of those. You take the ups, you take the downs. But I truly thought I would share with you guys because I'm always like, oh my God, it's like the number one performing video. It's so good. But yeah, unfortunately, this one just uh, didn't seem to like get shared out to a lot of people because don't get me wrong, you know, you've got the daily people who tune into, uh, well, <laughs> the week daily people who tune into the vlog. Um, and it's just like more and more and more people. But then um, the video yesterday, I, I guess either people just didn't want to tune into it or they didn't find it entertaining. But at the same time, I will say, I think it could have just been a slow day on the YouTubes because look how many people constantly tune into these videos. It's kind of crazy. And then for it to just randomly drop off and like almost half the people missed it is a bit of a shock. So I would love to know if you're watching this video right now, like, did you see the last vlog uploaded? If you could leave me a comment down below, that'd be great. Like, did it actually get shared with you by YouTube? Or did you actually see it and be like, yeah, I don't really care about watching that video. Like, not interested. Because like, honestly, your guys' feedback for these videos is the most important thing. Like, I love filming my life and the shenanigans. Like I said, it's the Truman Tom show. Um, but yeah, your guys' feedback is just everything. Uh, I love to hear what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Like, your guys' creative feedback is key. So yeah. Just throwing that out there, would love to hear from you guys. And oh my gosh, I've just received a text message from Evan Eckard. If you don't know who Evan is, let me just show you. Yeah, you see this, and then you see all this, and you see all this. I I'm not even kidding, not just the merch, but even like the website. That's Evan Eckard, our designer at Syndicate Original, right? He's been in the works talking to me behind the scenes about a new summer collection, like a proper, proper like sick summer collection 
and he's messaged me saying that he's got it scheduled in to work on it this weekend. And I've always wanted to do this, and I'm planting the seed now. If, if you'd like to be like, you know, follow along with it, because I'm really interested in it. But I want to share the whole process, like from the concept of me coming up with the idea and showing you guys what my idea was, then Evan's first, like, you know, draft back of like what he puts it together. Like, because I give him him potato, he turns it into a piece of art. Then I turn it into a potato again, and he's like, "What have you just done to my piece of art?" And then, I'll, and then, <laughs> and then we turn it into another like shiny piece of art. So I'd love to keep you guys involved with it and the entire process, and more so. Do you know what I mentioned today about going uh, getting a Syndicate original like coat? I would really, really like to do that, like a waterproof coat, because we've done the windbreaker, but a coat would be sick. So if you guys would be interested in like the behind the scenes of like what we do at Syndicate Original and you know like, how we get like these sort of custom garments made with you know like look at this. See how that? It's like metal, but it's got the like Syndicate Original written in it. If you guys would be interested in that, I'd love to share it. Like it's part and parcel of my life, but usually I'm in a meeting, you guys don't get to like hear or see about this, but I don't know, man. I just think I feel like if I was watching a YouTube channel and they were doing that sort of stuff, I think it, I think it'd be fun. But yeah, Evan's starting on it this weekend, and I'm really excited to see what he puts together. So, yeah, let's see how the process goes. And would you believe it? I'm about to walk out the house, and I look at my computer, and I'm like, wait, I recognise this box. Someone's just tweeting me saying, I blame Lydia because my wife saw this on the vlog. I had to go out and buy one for her too. Got the same birthday present as me. Mate, I tell you something. I, I, you know, like I hate the word influencer. But the whole point of it is, so if you see someone doing something else, then you're influenced by their decision. Like, if you saw people drinking and eating at a certain restaurant or something, you'd be like, that place looks good. Therefore, you've been influenced. I'm using this headset, and someone sees me having a good time with it. That's being influenced. It's crazy how many of you guys watch these vlogs and are like, oh, a fan for the summer, they get it, and they're like, Tom, that was the best decision I've ever made. That person's just bought one of these, and I'm hoping to hear that that was the best decision they ever made. There's one thing that I will always make sure that I do with that vlog, this vlog, and that is only recommend you guys the best of the best. That's why I'm like really cautious with like working with sponsors. Do you remember like the other, like the other week when a sponsor was like, sent me something to try, I was like, you ain't getting me promoting this thing or anything like that until I've tried it, and it's, and it's past the Tom's seal of approval, so. Yeah, I hope that guy enjoys it. I think I'm gonna to need to actually put this back on just for a second because I think it's about to be a little bit of a stressful situation going to try and get the bonnet of this car into my boot of my Defender. <laughs> what a day. Right, we're going. We've got the go bag and the most important thing, a hacksaw. If I happen to bump into any police, they're gonna think I'm robbing a joint. But that is a problem for future Tom. All right, let's go and see if this is gonna be a simple slice and dice. I'm telling you now, it's not gonna be. You know what, I actually love how I question whether or not it would still be here, but I can't see why anyone walking a dog would look at that and go, oh yeah, exactly what I need. And I, I can smell it from here, it is stinky. What I'm gonna do first is just see how far it actually fits in the back. So let me put you there, put back on my wet gloves. Why didn't I wash these when I got home? Hey, I wonder if I could fit this in. If I just bend it in half, I think I might be able to fit it in. Oh, oh shit, it's expanded. Wait for it. <gasps> We're in. I was gonna go and buy a bloody saw, but look at that, I bent it into the back. Oh, I, I actually knew it would fit. I didn't know what my dad was talking about, but will it shut? We're on to a winner. So don't you worry, local area. You don't have to walk past the bonnet no more. But right, let's return it to its rightful owner, which is Pongi. All right, let's peace out. doing my shots back and forward, I bumped into this guy and he was wondering what I was doing and I told him, I'm like, we've been litter picking. He was like, well, the world needs more people like you. I was like, oh, cheers, Barry. Then he recommended me like um, a crashed plane site on the moors to go and have a look round. And he's just, the, the, the proper legends just go, going for a wander because um, he's, his sister, his, his wife has got her sisters around and, the, and they're all having like a mother's meeting. And he was like, I need to get out there, out, out the house and clear my head. So he yeah, just recommended me some fun things to go and do. So go on the boy, Barry. But I would like it to be known how much of a ball ache it is to get those shots to make that little montage I did then of getting out. Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. I love it, but bloody hell. 
It's some effort. It's at this point in the vlog where I feel like those, like, the little monsters or the little creatures that sell, like, droids out the back of the ship, like, going, wah, 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 wah. I feel like I'm be like, come, 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 I show you my goods. Inside my truck, I have brand new bonnet. It's very nice. Now, you can't say you're not having it. You've already bought it. You've already bought it. You're having it. It doesn't look too impressed. Annoying little boy, go away. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Half a Job. I've come through. I thought, you know what Dad wants today? More trash. Turn up at his door. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. What do you want me to do with it? Ticket and three bags for your gap. But, <laughs> but, Dad, I thought you'd be proud of the haul. I thought you wanted it completed, so I'll bring it to you. What, 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 okay. what would I want for that? Oh no, new bonnet for the BF. <laughs> this is how serious we're taking the negotiation of who keeps the grill. I'm about this close from climbing on his roof and giving him a good hiding. Can I just get that on the record? I'll let you leave that here on one condition. What condition? You check that with you. Oh! I wonder where that was. Throw it here. Throw it. Yep. <sighs> right. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to that for later. I wonder where it was. Wait, let's clarify. So tomorrow, you go into the doctors to find out an update with what's going on with your prostate cancer? No. Oh. Okay, so you go to Christie's. What are they telling you, what are they telling you at Christie's? Got a scan and blood test. So you're not going to find out an update with your prostate yet? That's questionable. What? You, you just said hopefully, yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully, yeah. And you won't let me come with you? No. You don't, have, you don't allow visitors in. I'm not a visitor, I'm your son. I'm well more important than Gail. Gail, yeah, I'm joking. I wouldn't say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I say that on camera. You're not no, no, no. I take that back. Bye, Dad. Goodbye now. What a job well done. Look at these tyres. That's what you call a bit of wear and tear on them now. could not be having them looking brand new. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I don't know what's next on the agenda for what we're actually doing for the rest of the day. It's quite literally 4.20. Blaze it. But you know what? I did say taking that saw was not going to be suitable for the task at hand. So I think we've got to go to B&Q. And by gosh, would you look at it? There we are. But hey, let me just show you something. I saw the new Defender with another new Defender. And I was like, hey, I'll show him up. <laughs> I'll use the old school Defender next to him. It's got to make you question what like Land Rover were thinking. Calling that a Land Rover Defender. That's a Land Rover Defender. The new one is more of like a Discovery 2. But I thought I'd go ahead and school the Belverdale boys. Side note, that is a sick license plate, Ginger. <laughs> All right, back into B and Q we go. Where they've already got me. I actually need one of these. God damn it! Wait, what? A pound? I'll take two. How is that a pound? Right, Goldfish Brain Tom is in full action. What have I even come here for? No joke. I, I have no idea. Watch how long it takes me to think of it. Electric, <laughs> electric handsaw. <laughs> you know what I'm actually thinking of making? A separate clothing line from Syndicate Original. And it would be called Loft. And the logo would be a picture of a house because Loft stands for Life of Tom. And the first piece of merch that I would drop would indeed be a drawing of a person, but in the brain, it like be hollow and just a goldfish. And it'd be the whole me and the meme of goldfish brains. I think it'd be sick. Let me know if you would like a Life of Tom merch thing. I know I've always said I don't want to do like YouTuber merch. I always like a like a clothing line that anyone could wear. But man, I just think it'd be so good. Plus the name, Loft and a little logo of a house. It'd be sick. Uh, this is where I'm going to get all the tool the terrors in my comments being like, don't be getting this, don't be getting one of this, getting that. Listen, I've got loads of DeWalt stuff and I've got loads of battery charges from and stuff. So this is lo what I'm looking at going for. And I guess... Are you, are you actually kidding me? I think I've picked the most expensive thing to come and pick up. Yeah, a DeWalt 18 volt cordless rear reciprocating saw. That's what I've come for. And it's quite literally the most expensive thing they've got on the line. Idiot. But I'm worried that the fact that they've got loads of these pieces of paper for every other thing, they don't have one for this. So I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to show it a member of staff. I'm really hoping this is not going to be a wasted trip. I've just travelled 20 minutes. Out of stock? Yeah. Damn it. I had one job. So I'm leaving here with nothing that I needed 
and two random buckets. That's about as Tom as it gets. Hey, up the goldfish is in action. I've just remembered I need a load of uh, grass seed. And what triggered that memory was the fact that I'm looking at bird seed. So I'm, I'm in the wrong place. But I also need a hose extender. The goldfish is cooking me gas right now. Yeah, that's the bad boy right there. That's what I need. A connecting joint sorted. But then obviously something to connect it into. And that ugh, we're rocking with. Thank you, thank you. And I definitely don't need it, but go on then. We might as well, because I've actually got the perfect spot to put that in. Now, I've still not found any grass seed, but I found seaweed, um, fish, blood and bone, and then the best of last, I found bone meal. This stuff can grow everything. Christ, you can even buy it in buckets. But if I would have just turned around, it's right here. Okay, where do we begin? I'm definitely getting one of these. A seed shooter. And then I guess just a big bag of seed will do. Durable and hard wearing. Seems like the right stuff. So we'll take it. And the trolley's starting to look like a lot of things I didn't come for. But let's be honest, that's always the case. Okay, let's see what the damage is. Oof. A drill that I did one, 140 quid, but it wasn't in stock. And somehow I managed to spend 134 on just a load of shit. To be fair, I genuinely need it. But whoa, I wasn't expecting it to cost that much. Maybe it was the uh, 18 pound birdhouse. <laughs> and shiver me timbers, Batman. This thing needs a clean. This is so weird. I've just filmed that clip there in the back of it. And this guy, what was your name again, sorry? Jack. Jack lives around the corner for me. And he was just like, I do detailing. How much would you charge me? Oh, well, I really wasn't expecting that. Goodbye, my friend. But um, you know what? If we do need to get this clean, I'll definitely consider him. But I've still got to get this thing a lot more dirtier than this before I can even consider getting this thing cleaned. Should we actually get it as filthy as possible? Contact that guy and then see just how good of a job he can do. Because it does, does still s smell of socks a little bit. <laughs> anyway. That was an unsuccessful trip. But the literal litter picker returns to his home, which is an absolute mess. And he should probably prioritize first. But hey, I got two buckets for two pounds. I can tidy the garage later. I've just got myself a bargain. Salt goes on the shelf. Saw slots in there. And my stanky gloves. I think they're gonna need a hose down. Of which after everything I've just bought for hoses, I haven't even got one. Where's, where's my hose gone? You know what, screw it. We're putting this bucket to work. We're cleaning up all these balloons. Durable and job done. Hang on a minute. They're bloody everywhere, man. I swear when I'm 50 years old, I'm gonna be finding them still. I still just can't get over it. One pound for a bucket. Mate, that is just brilliant. Okay. Honey, I'm home. I did what? I was wondering why the Minecraft cereal was here. Oh, spoiler for tomorrow's vlog. We're trying that. But if we stay on track for today, I'm gonna need this pot. <laughs> it might look like the most random pot in the world, but it's got all my spare screw, sc screws, screws and bolts. I'm just gonna take it with me. We're gonna grab this and we're gonna grab that. Now this is really gonna look like an ad for a B&Q bucket, but look at this. Can't be asked taking all this in my go bag. So instead, I'm just gonna throw this all into here, waddle on round with my tripod and my bucket, throw it in back gently and get all this gear down there by going one way and it's down step so new tires get into action and get me down where i need to go trust me it's the just most efficient bloody hell that was a noisier uh, bounce but it's the most efficient way of me getting it round to the back of the house next door <laughs> and that will do don't forget handbrake <laughs> I have got the perfect spot to put that birdhouse and it's on that tree. And there's a reason why, because to put it simply, when I was in the garden shooting targets on the tree, I put a load of random holes where the metal BBs are like stuck into the tree. Can you see it? Like, look at that, see that BB? Can we get it out? There you go. And I thought, you know what? We'll cover that up by putting a little birdhouse there and we'll attract a lovely bit of nature to the garden. I'm just severely hoping that the birds don't come flying in as I come flying down and so come on, toolbox or tool bucket. The task is to put that on there. It sticks out a little bit, but it's fine. What would you prefer, that or that? Exactly. And this is just a Tom doing Tom thing. Do you know what? There's actually already a screw in the thing. If I just blank it on. Wait, if I just undo that a little bit. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Screw's too small. And this is why I bring me bucket. There's a bigger one. Put it back in the hole we got it out of. There we go. And does it just slide on? Yes. <laughs> yeah. There you go, a new home for the birds. I'm sorry if it's a bit windy, but if you actually just rotate this, you can actually 
open the bottom of the birdhouse. Oh no! Oh, you can open the side of it. Oh, it's a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Is this thing going to Oh shit. Well, it didn't pass a stress test well, test well, did it? Oh, that's definitely not going to go back on now. Oh, for God's sake, Tom. I had one freaking job. And I just wanted to test what would happen in the wind. And it's just, it's literally one little piece of wood has flicked off. And now I can't even put it back on. The bloody hell am I going to do now? I I'm not giving up. What I'm going to do is go and get a different drill bit. I'm going to drill a hole through that. And then I'm just going to hook it straight on. We ain't, we ain't relying on this flimsy piece to hold it on. No way. We'll put a hole in it ourselves. This is indeed the walk of sandal shame. And trust me, I would love to drive up these steps. I've already tried it. Doesn't work. The angle's too strange. But this was a good reminder that I need to take in the plant. Don't worry, dear. Help is on the way. Eventually. All right, we're back at my manly bench. Well, I am going to need a drill bit. And have I got it inside here? Oh, yes, I do. This is the way. But also, just in case, is there anything else I'm going to need? Hmm. I'm not risking it. We're taking it all with us. And would you believe it? I'm banging it all in a bucket. Best two quid I have ever spent in 2023 by far. So it. <laughs> To say it was supposed to rain today, it's held up pretty well, not gonna lie. Didn't matter regardless, because I still got piss wet through in the water. But all right. Am I the man with a plan? Gives us a drill right here, lad. Come on. Now, time for me to totally not try and tip this up, but I've put a much bigger drill bit on it, and this is definitely a drill bit that's for uh, brick, but... Uh, same wood brick. We need to put an all in some. It's the same old thing, but I'm gonna bang this in here and hope that it does the job. Perfect. <laughs> With the birds who move into this, they'll never know. All right, and welcome to this episode of Will It Fit? The chances are uh, totally a no, but all right. Oh, no way. I think, it just, I think it just needs, I think it just needs a good walk with a hammer. Wait a minute. Let me take it out of the tree. Hey, up. Might be onto something. I took it out of the tree, the screw, replaced it with a different one, put it on as an, at an angle, and would you look at that? It's a bit, it's a bit sticky out, but it does the job. Yes. Yeah. Shit. Fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm running out of time. My vlog, my new vlog needs to go live. Like, I'm just gonna throw a load of bird seed at it, even though it's, it's a house, not a, a feeding thing. I'm just gonna throw a load of bird seed down here. Come and get it. There's a bunch of food for your house. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. I'm closing it so they got some snacks whilst they're inside. You know what? It's just it's going on the wall, and if it's if it's there in the morning. It's there. Oh, it's just not safe and secure, is it? It needs to go. It, it's because there's this knot in the way. It's going there. It's going nowhere. Look, see? Look, I'm wind. Woo! Woo! I've legit just had an alarm go off in my watch then. I need to get the vlog live and I can't have it be late. So if people wonder why my content's late, it's because I'm doing shit like this. I've got one last idea, which is just putting like a mega screw into the tree, okay? And just see if it holds. All right, my last minute, last minute alarm to get the vlog live is going off right now. And you can't write it. I've done some jiggling around and I've actually got... Oh dear, that didn't sound good. But what I was going to actually say is I've got it pretty secure now. So you know what? I honestly think it'll be fine. Maybe I just take out the washer that fell off. Don't think birds would appreciate that. Put it in the bucket. Now my last minute, last minute alarm's going off. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a, grab a bit more seed, seeing as though the rest of that just fell out. Shove it inside. <laughs> Seal the door. And hope for the best. And we'll see you in the morning, if it's still there. Just gonna again try and attract some um, birds and shit. There we go. Yeah, they'll love it. They'll come here and go, wow, this is great. Oh my gosh, a hotel. Genius. Bloody hell, I dropped the bucket on my seed. I've spilled, <laughs> spilled on my seed. I'm falling apart. I've got four minutes until the vlog's live. I ain't got time for this. Enjoy it. Just enjoy the seed. It's fine. I'm not bothered. We'll, 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 we'll ball on a budget another day. Craggy Joe. Get it in back a different... Oh my gosh. I completely forgot to seed the bloody lawn. It's nearly seven o'clock. That's a task for another day. All right, get everything. Get it in there. And let's get this vlog live. Do you know what I've just realised as I'm like panicking, spilling bird seed everywhere? That because of Alex Mars bar, I actually have like 500 up, 500 down internet in my entire garden. So I just went on my phone and I made the vlog live. So this entire situation could have been avoided. But you know what? I guess it's an absolute win for the for the local wildlife. And you know what? It's secure. So I'm done. I'm, I'm finished. 
that's it for the day. Seven o'clock on the dot, I I'm, I'm switching off. And I'll sort this out another day. Because you know where I'm going? Nowhere, apparently, because I got too bastard close. All right, I think we're getting there. Gates are opened and secured by a block, but I now can't close my door because the bloody house is in the way. Oh, fuck it, we're going to risk it. Are you ready? And drive away, and the door is safe. <laughs> Come back here. Come here. Okay. And we're free. We're actually free. Flipping heck. I cannot wait until I get some electric gates. Well, where was I? Ah, yes. We're going to the bar. Oh, we're grabbing a beer. Wow, what a day. And you know what, Lydia? I love you so much. The house smells incredible. We've got garlic bread. We've got prawn pasta. And this is why I love this woman. Where are they? Where, where are they? Let me see them. Don't they smell amazing? After the last half an hour I've had, I could cry. Oh my gosh, what a woman. She's made me muscles. Come. Come, come. <laughs> if we hear reports of um, birds involved in an accident, you know, falling bird house of sorts, it wasn't me. Wait, you just give this food an 11 out of 10? Mm. Oh, I'm so hungry, man. I can't, I can't even express it. Oh, I've had a ball over there. And are you ready? The sun is looking so sexy right now, but are you ready for that moment? Pretty disappointing to be fair. <laughs> but to what today has been, ladies and gentlemen, oh my gosh. If you have enjoyed it, do me a favor. Do the thing, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite moment is. And I will say cheers. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, that's nice. But this is even nicer. And a tip with Tom, use a shell from the mussels as a little set of pincers to pick up the mussels and devour them. Oh my gosh, Lord. <laughs> When she said tonight for dinner we're having prawn pasta, I was like, okay. And then she knew, she knows you that I don't- prawn pasta yeah. No, your, pr your prawn pasta's banging. But like, just when someone says we're having pasta, I'm like, uh, it's pasta, whatever. It just doesn't, doesn't get, get me excited. However, she said, and for you, I've got your muscles. Uh, taste that. I won't taste it. Right, on, this is an honest review now, you ready? <laughs> A solid 11. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> that dinner was 10 out of 10. That view is 1,000 out of 10. But if there's one thing I need to do today, it is get in the shower. Because I just feel grim and grimy after climbing in that river. I actually think I've got a fact for you. The River Tame, if that's what it's called, is the most polluted river in England. I could be I could be really wrong with that, but I'm sure I've heard that fact somewhere before. And just to make sure I did get shit done today, look at this. I have saved the plant. Come on in, come on in. And look at that. The leaf that was looking a little bit weak is picked up and looking perfect. It survives to see another day. Beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Sam Jones. I am trying my best. But all right, shower time. And relax time. I may not look like I've showered because I've respiked my hair for some stupid reason, but it is now towards the end of the day. The sun is indeed setting and it is gorgeous. I feel like I need to move this chair to there to be able to watch the sun go down because that would make so much more sense. But I've done you guys a super solid. And you know like when I film my laptop screen, it's usually like really dirty and just looks absolutely awful. Well, I've cleaned it to the point where it actually looks like a mirror. What the heck? But I'm going to turn the brightness back up and wanted to show this out. Chloe said, we need a, a new section in the vlogs called Comfy Comments with Tom. <laughs> Where Tom replies to all of your comments in the comfort of his comfy chair, like an old man. Loving all the new content makes going to the gym 10 times easier when you've got something good to watch. Much love. So I just replied saying, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And I thought I'd show it in the vlog. So thank you so much for tuning in. But yeah, Chloe, thanks for watching, man. I appreciate the comment. And I've literally just had to sit up in my chair because someone commented saying, Syndicate Sunday Club Ice Cream, a Sunday from the grapes. Because, you know, I'm talking about having like a secret menu item from Rita's Reign. And then we got the, the Syndicate Sunset Special, um, you know, at Limefield. Imagine that at the grapes. The Sunday Club, but it's spelt like Sunday, like the ice cream. That would be so good. The only downside is it's not really a secret item for me because I don't particularly eat desserts. Lydia does. If she was to design a Sunday Club ice cream, she would crush it. And then that would be a good secret item menu, but 
I need to work out what I would have as a secret menu item. Leave some suggestions of like good food that you've seen me eat that we could put on Wes's restaurant menu. But I tell you what, the Sunday Club, that's, that's so good. <laughs> I can't, man. I didn't realise the perspective of me sat there next to a ride in yesterday's vlog made me look so small. And I read a comment of someone saying, Tom, you look like a borrower compared to a Ryan. Like, look at the size of him compared to me. <laughs> oh, man. This shit's got me cracking up. That is seriously funny. Oh, you guys are hilarious. Honestly, best viewer. Best audience and a YouTuber could ever ask for. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's funny when I'm... <laughs> I'm in my forehead. Oh, God. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, I've been sat in this chair replying to comments on YouTube for like, no joke, two, nearly three hours. I need to get out of it, but I physically can't. So I have to turn it on like this. And then I think... I, oh, no, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Wrong way. Go down. Nope, wrong way again. There we go. And then we can just step out of it. Man, what a piece of kit. That That is exactly why I wanted the old man chair. To be able to sit in for hours, being comfy and replying to you guys. No joke. Like, come on. You lot have seen me the past few weeks sat on a stool that's got like... No cushion in it, wow, whatsoever. But I've been sat here replying to your guys' comments, and I tell you what, that vlog that's just gone live, I think I mentioned in the video, look at him in the background, I think I mentioned in this video, because I've like completely lost the track of time now, it's like it's quarter to 11 at night, but you know, I said like I uploaded the video yesterday, and it just, it was the first day on the vlog that I've uploaded a video, and it just didn't do really well, and like it really is disheartening, like, I, I've been uploading these videos and regardless of being, it being the ups, the downs, or just a mediocre day, you guys have just been tuning in every day at 7pm and to be fair, I think it was the first time in like three or four days that I uploaded a vlog on time at 7pm rather than 7pm-ish. Like today, I posted on the dot and I was so proud of that, but um, yeah, it absolutely flopped and I was like, oh, oh, I thought people might enjoy this video and I was really gutted, but it's nice to know that like I posted this one today and people have, re have really enjoyed it, so... All right, just thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Everyone who leaves a like rating, like, if we can hit a full three likes, that would be insane. And anyone who subscribes, like, you do not know how much that means to me. It's just, it's insane. But I've, I've been really enjoying this. I can't believe when it comes to, I think, is it, is it, is it the second? Is it, the, I, th I think Lydia went away on the second. I will have been daily, well, <laughs> I can't even get that right. Hang on, I was close. On the 2nd of July, it will officially have been a month of me uploading vlogs for... A week of doing it, um, like daily, and then getting into the routine of doing week daily. And I tell you what, man, it feels good to be back at it. And you know what's mad? You know, like the baby that you saw me in the in the other vlog, like little baby G, and I saw her when she was like four days old. She's a she's like a month old now. That that's bizarre. I cannot believe it. That is absolutely bizarre. But yeah, man, time is flying by, and the best thing about these vlogs is that I get to document it even more so with this man you know what i mean like he's going to hospital tomorrow to find out like he, he said he isn't going to do but he probably is going to do find out about what's going on with his cancer tomorrow but like we'll get a better picture of things but being able to make all these memories for me to be able to look back on and my friends and my family to look back on with like their friends their family and their little ones i think it's just so amazing because yeah you post it on instagram or snapchat or something like that but then it just it's a, it's a distant memory in 24 hours like yeah you can have your phone filled with pictures and videos and stuff but i've got like twenty thousand videos on my phone i never like scroll back to see them i just go to youtube look for the vlog and then i can share it with anyone like surreal how blessed i am to be able to use this platform for that but the fact that i can share it with other people is just amazing but i'm gonna love you guys i'm gonna leave you i hope you've enjoyed today um if you have just leave a comment down below let me know what your favorite moment was and i'll be back tomorrow at 7 p.m ish so until then much love and as always adios